hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have all had a lovely day so far, whatever it is that you're doing. Today we are heading to HomeSense TK Maxx and just, I mean, it's one of those shops that I feel like I can't not go in and not take you with me. So you guys are coming with me. Um, but before we do head out to the shops, I do have a sponsor for today's video, very kindly Air Up are working with me. Air Up I've talked about before on this channel is a water bottle that is not just a standard water bottle. I love this thing. Now it comes in different colors. I personally went for the black. I do actually have a discount code for the bottles. So, and the starter packs as well. If you want to use it, I'll leave it on the screen and in the description box down below so you can take advantage. They come with these pods. Now I've ordered the new favorite five taster trial kind of kit set that they do, which essentially gives you five different flavors. So rather than buying a pack of pods, flavored pods, if you want to trial some flavors out, then this is a good way to do so. You get the raspberry and lemon. Watermelon is one that I've wanted to try. So finally, I'm going to try this with you now. The peach and then wild berry. And this is a new one that I've not tried before, orange vanilla swell. That sounds quite like sweet and yummy so maybe i'll test these two out so you just get your pod and you pop it on your bottle oh my god i can smell it already it smells amazing you pop it on the bottle then this is it down and then you just lift it to activate it so that will essentially create a slipstream as you're drinking the water and it will make you feel like you're drinking watermelon flavored water oh that is nice Let's try the orange vanilla swell. I'm really intrigued about this one. I feel like this is, oh my God, it is sweet. Oh, wow. I feel like this is definitely sort of designed for that person that maybe struggles to intake water. Um, I personally just like having a water bottle with a straw. That in itself for me makes me drink so much more water. Good for hair, skin, nails, etc., etc. And obviously with this, it feels like you're getting the flavored water without any kind of harshness, chemicals, calories. It's just good old tap water or sparkling water if you prefer. Um, but yeah, let's have a taste of the orange vanilla as well. Mm. that is like a sweeter it's completely different to the tangerine pod that they do if you're more of a sweet tooth then maybe you will um prefer to try that one okay, thank you so much to eric for kindly sponsoring today's video link will be in the description box along with that discount code for you to use enjoy happy shopping and cheers so I've made it to Home Sense. I just thought I would let you know which one I've actually come to just in case anyone's fairly local and interested or spots anything that they like the look of in this vlog. So this is a complex which has a Home Sense directly in front of me and a separate TK Maxx a couple of doors down at, I think it's called Hanforth Dean. So um, it's near Wilmside basically. I think I'm gonna head into Home Sense first and then pop over to TK Maxx and maybe even have a look at the fashion. I know I tend to just focus on the homeware, but I figured seeing as though they've got their own separate TK Maxx and I have spotted things like brands like Gucci in this TK Maxx. So yeah, I'm intrigued to see what they might have in today. Chloe as well I've seen in there. Um, but if you've not seen it recently, there's a, a, a Channel 5, I think it's Channel 5 documentary. I watched it the other day. There was one on Primark, Primark, how do they do it? And then there's been a, a more recent one, TK Maxx, how do they do it? So there's like tips and inside info on how they get the brands to basically give them excess stock. And there's a little trick on the labels. I'll show you in store or if I pick anything up, which I'll include within this video as well. On the labels, apparently there are numbers one to nine on this little section on a label of which most of the numbers are redundant it's pretty much always either one two or seven one is a lot of stock that either either has been like produced by them or um produced for them so it's not really necessarily a great buy number two is a really good buy in that it is usually surplus stocks excess stock that is potentially on sale for full price elsewhere or at least for a more expensive price and seven as well what was seven i think it was um i actually had i took a picture of it because i was like oh i must tell you guys as well 
pack away oh yeah so number seven is pack away whereby they've got a good deal on something and then it's something that they've had to store away to then get out next year so it's also still a good buy it's like things like all the christmas stock will probably be um the good christmas stock anyway will be marked up as a seven as something that's been put away to be brought out next year so it's only like an old like one season old anyway let's get in let's have a look at some codes let's see what i can find and uh i'm not really on the hunt for anything in particular today just a good old browse so i'm going to take you guys i feel like you have to do that with a home since tk maxx just go for a browse anyway it's like a big treasure hunt Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's head on in. So heading on in to HomeSense first, I did notice that they had lots of summer stock, kind of like outdoor garden, outdoor dining stock, lots of kind of rattan, even in bar trolleys as well. And the White Company currently has one um, for sale. So when I spotted that they do them in HomeSense, it was a bit of a surprise and they looked lovely. And then I also always have to check out the candle section. How can you not go into a HomeSense and check out the candles? Loved the look of that fresh linen one. And then I also spotted a number two here. Number two label from Urban Apothecary. Now I've bought a, no it's not, Urban Oil Factory. I bought a reed diffuser from them in the past and it is lovely. They do smell really, really strong. So highly recommended. Then I had a quick look at the books and the notebook section, which they had some good finds in, some art work and also even vases and kind of ornaments standalone ornaments I had a good look at today and did pick up something very very special so obviously I will share with that with you when we get home again heading on upstairs Le Creuset there's always lots of Le Creuset bits in and on that program they also advised that with Le Creuset one of the ways that they got to work with them was that it is kind of excess stock but it's also like just one off there's never usually full sets anyway moving into tk maxx now having a good look at the fashion there they did have a gold label section which had some hunter stella mccartney collaboration boots and then also these chloe sandals which i love they're like wedges in fact i was very tempted to to get those myself some whistles dresses this khaki one was lovely i did also spot quite a lot of abcrombie and fitch and super dry and zara zara in TK Maxx, I'm tempted to do some kind of come shop with me to Zara and TK Maxx very soon, so stay tuned for that. And then I also saw a bargain from this philosophy dress. If you just have a look at this label, the discount from RRP was insane. my comfy outfit for shopping in today i'm in the tk maxx changing rooms now so i've got this zara striped jumper i've got quite a lot of use out of this actually since buying it um my chanel bag lululemon leggings ug ultra minis can't see them for comfort so um because i've been starting to run a bit more i picked up these they're from gymshark 40 pounds down to 19.99 i'm hoping a small will fit they've got like kind of mesh design i'd have preferred them just plain black but I am after some more kind of cropped ones for as it gets a bit warmer. Um, and then I also did see these from Tala, Tala leggings. Again, I've never realized that they uh, stock Tala, but $19.99. And they're like a really nice gray. To be honest with you, these ones look like they might be more better suited to, um, rather than working out in, just 
doing like yoga or chilling around the house type of a legging. Same with these ones actually from Reebok. I really liked the kind of thin rib on these and the colour as well. Both of these are a large though, so unsure if they're going to fit, but I can try them on. We'll see. $16.99 for, for them. Then this. Okay, so they had this in this beautiful, like, powder blue, but they also had it in a really nice beige. But I think I prefer, with this style, I think I prefer the blue. Um, it's from a brand that I love. It's in Manchester. And it's called Beaumont Organic. I don't know if they have any others, but there is one in Manchester, a lovely little store, which I've been to before. And they're quite pricey, they are quite premium. Um, and that kind of is reflected in the price because it's from 190 down to 80. Um, so, I'll, I mean, I'll try it, but I just thought more than anything just to show you that they now have Beaumont Organic. Then the last two items I got two more dresses. This first one I'm in love with. It is going to be a kind of relaxed fit on me. It's a large at £59 retail price from Abercrombie. Um, I just love the little button details, the little cutout, so it's got pockets as well. £19.99 this one was. So ideally a medium probably would would have been nice but it might be quite short if I would have got it in a medium um, but they didn't have any anyway so I've got it in a large just to try on whilst I'm here and then this beautiful dress from DKNY this is in a US 12 it was on a large hanger again they didn't have any smaller sizes so we'll try it $79.95 down to $34.99 it's got little kind of wrap detail on the waist and little frill puff out here at the bottom so Let's get trying on. Right, I'm going to try on the leggings first. These Reebok ones are lovely. They're just a little bit too thin for my liking. Like you can start to see like little lumps and bumps, bit cellulite. So not the most flattering kind of material, unfortunately. So I am going to leave these, but they are a lovely fit. Okay, same situation with these Tala leggings. They're nice and high waisted, which I like, but they are just too thin. Like this is why I love the Lululemon leggings so much. Because look, I mean, you know when you can like see every lump and bump, it's just too thin. But they're not even that thin, these ones, which is strange. They're not that thin, but yeah, they still show everything. I think maybe the lighter color doesn't help. Anyway, last hope with these Gymshark ones. Okay, again, fail on the Gymshark. They're too thin and they're also too small. This small is definitely too tight and uncomfortable for me. Fail on the leggings. Let's try on the dresses now. So starting with the DKNY dress, I really do love this. Um, the only thing is, um, because of the tie waist, the fact that it's large, it does like fit and everything. It's a nice length. I really like this length, but it does gape quite a bit here at the front and I feel like that would be something that I'd get a bit self-conscious of or like it would annoy me a little bit so for that reason for that little fit up here it's probably because it is a larger um size it is in large then yeah for that reason i'll leave this one um which is a real shame because i do really like the look of it okay after having tried this one on i'm gutted that they don't have a medium um or even a small to try because this is the large is too big. This sits where you can, <laughs> my belly button sometimes pops out look, which isn't a good look. Um, and obviously because of the wider fit around my waist, I just don't think it's the most flattering, but it's that bit that I don't like. The fact that that cut out detail should probably be more like there. Um, oh, but it's such a lovely fabric, this one. I love it so much. How much is it? It's 19.99. I really do like this one. Had they've had it in medium, 100% would have picked this one up. I love it. Okay, part of me loves this dress. Part of me thinks, does it look a bit silly? <laughs> so because I don't absolutely love it, I will, um, I won't pick this one up. I do love the square neckline and this part, the top part. Quite dramatic sleeves, but I kind of like that. But then it just feels a little bit, a little bit frumpy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like on someone else I'd look at this and go, oh, I love that dress. Mm. On me, I just don't like it. So, yeah. What a shame. Pretty unsuccessful try on clip. However, I do have quite a lot of homewear bits in Home Sense, and I've still got homewear to look in TK Maxx as well. So, I'm going to go check out that, see if I can pick up any more homewear bits, and then um, 
get on the road back home. Okay, we have two bags of things that I've ended up buying and something else as well, which is it big and heavy and I'm probably gonna show you first because it couldn't even fit in this bag. Okie doke. Right, I'm gonna share with you the most expensive thing that I've bought from HomeSense probably in a long time. Every time I go in and there's one there, I look at it and I long for it and I leave it and I think, why? So this time I bit the bullet and decided to pick it up. Now it is this, They've kindly bubble wrapped it for me, so let me open it up. But it's this kind of like, oh god, it's just It is a like a crystal display home decor piece that I think personally will look lovely. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. I think it will look lovely in the gym once we've renovated it. Or the bathroom down there, which we're having very kind of similar colouring tiles. Um, on display somewhere um, or in my bathroom. I also thought it would look really lovely. So it is beautiful. I mean, I did post a picture of it on Instagram on my stories when I saw it and then on that occasion left it and someone said it looks like a, in fact, a few people did, said when they first saw the photo, they thought it was a loaf of bread, <laughs> a loaf of crusty bread. And to be fair, that photo, it did look like that. But this, in person, how stunning is this? I don't know if you can even get the true reflection of, like when the light hits it, can you see the glisten? It is honestly stunning. Absolutely love it. So yeah, it was pricey. It was $74.99, but I do feel like it's one of those items that you really just can't, I don't know, you just can't replicate, can't find anywhere else the exact, carbon copy of that just doesn't exist. It, they'll be all different forms and shapes and the color of that is just so perfect with our house with the kind of warmer beige tones and that kind of thing. So anyway, I love it. I'm a big fan. I'm so glad I decided to, to get it. So anyway, I'll stick with the rest of the bits that I did pick up from HomeSense. And um, I've got a couple of crisps. I've got these in the past. These ones in particular, love. They are the truffle potato crisps from Innocence. Now, they, I've seen they do other flavors, but I've never got them before. So I've decided to try them. Seems though I do love these ones so much. These are the wasabi flavored potato crisps. So yeah, we'll give them a try. They're $1.99 each. I also got this book. This was RRP, when I'm saying number two, I tried to show you in store, but it's this number here. Can you see that number where it says two? So um, I did actually spot a nine in there, so. Any insiders that know what a nine is, let me know. But anyway, RP of $12.99, this one's $4.99. It's called Quiet Journal, and it's a guided journal. So if, like me, you're a fan of jotting things down, writing things down, there's a few days in there, which is like more of a diary style. There's some notes, there's some guided sort of like questions and answers that you can kind of use to reflect and just this is just a little pastime that I sometimes like to do, maybe just watching TV in an evening or going to bed before going to bed. I've got my other journals that I like to do every single day. So yeah, that's gonna add to my little journal collection. Um, I also got a couple of gift cards. Always like to have a look at the gift cards or gift wrap options that they've got there. Now I got two, I got this one, which is just a generic congratulations one. I love the kind of animal sage green vibe going on there and it was retail price of three pounds down to one pound 40 in the clearance then i got this one should we drink a gin tonight a yes b a c b <laughs> so i quite like that it was one pound 49 that one was i got some cloths from the cleaning section this one is 
They're called Terry Dishcloths Organic Cotton in a kind of like dark olive green. And these are it's a two pack set for cleaning chores in the house, super absorbing, easy to rinse and do not fluff, which is a nightmare, isn't it? When, if you get a microfiber cloth or something that just leaves lint everywhere. So anyway, got them. And then I also got these. Now I've already got this set. I got it from Dunelm actually. I paid full price for this at Dunelm. I think it was nearly 10 pounds. It's expensive. However, they are incredible, these cloths. So you get one which is for glass and then as kind of standard microfiber general purpose one and they are just really good. They're extra large, which is what I particularly like with them. Um, and then it does actually come with a suction hook. So if you want to keep it as, cause it, it's classed as a shower cleaning duo. If you wanted to keep it within your bathroom, then you do have that hook if you wanted to do that. I personally don't, but anyway. I got this dog toy for Barney. It's from Outback Jack, eco-friendly rope and horn. Now he loves tug of war. Um, and he also loves chew toys. So I feel like this is a good combination of the two. Um, he loves, he does actually have a horn already, Buffalo's horn, which I mean, just lasts forever. But to have a fresh one, I think he'll enjoy, enjoy this a lot. And it was only 3 99 Then I also saw this in the kitchen section. I just loved the kind of rustic feel to this, the irregular kind of shape to it. It just, yeah. And it's kind of like a strainer, um style you know for when you're doing pasta or whatever you need to hold this against the pot as you're pouring it out um to drain it 3.99 love that and it's from it's olive wood yeah olive wood that one and then i also got this set of matches i love the fact that it came in this glass um kind of domed jar because you could definitely repurpose this but i on the front it says light of my life and it's got all black matches in which i love now i've just realized though where's the actual lighter for it oh yeah it's on the back there's a little scratch pad to to be able to to light them actually have it out sat next to a candle and have it out on display i think that would be lovely then i also got i'm on the tk maxx bag now so even though it's all home wear bits that i did actually pick up didn't get any clothing on this occasion um, I got these bath salts and I just loved the look of this jar. I do have a smaller one that I've got from M&S from their apothecary range, but I just, it doesn't fit many in and this is huge and it's got really big like rock kind of bath salts in there in lavender, aromatic lavender, which I think I'll love. And it is, it was in the clearance for just four pounds. But how nice is that jar? I love that. Then I got, oh, some more truffle. These, are they the same brand? No, they're not the same brand. These are breadsticks with the truffle. I love truffle. 3 99 that one is. Then I got some Starbucks. They've got some Starbucks mugs in there that I've seen recently. These ones, um, this one is obviously just ground coffee. It was 2 99 RRP of 3 75 so it's not a huge saving. It is a number two label though. I feel like I said it's for achievement now if I get a number two label. Um, Astonish Specialist Ocean Mist Daily Shower Shine. Now I have the hibiscus one and I've never seen another scent until now. So this essentially, this Daily Shower Shine spray, it's so easy to use, so straightforward. Literally all you do is, is a spray and leave formula. So after your shower, you don't need to dry your shower down or anything. You just spritz this everywhere, all over, and then leave it. You don't need to rinse it down. You don't need to wipe it. So easy. Makes the bathroom smell amazing as well. So Ocean Mist is a new scent that I've got to try. And then last but not least, I got two books. So these are both from, um, well, like the kind of cooking kitchen theme of books. And I just thought they both looked lovely. But also, especially this one, I feel like it's going to have some really nice recipes that we're gonna love. This retails for 26 pounds. I picked it up for 6.99 and it's from the oven to the table by Diana Henry. And it's just got loads of really wholesome recipes, my favorite kind of food. So um, love that. And then I also got this one. This one was in the clearance. This was only five pounds. I don't know what it retails for. Does it say on the inside? 18 pounds pretty good saving and this just has loads of small plates for simple meals the Japanese table again loads more recipes I love the aesthetic of this like how they display the food and everything is lovely so yeah that's everything that I picked up I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me on my little shopping trip to TK Maxx and HomeSense so let me know if you want more of these probably one of my favorite shops to 
shopping so more than happy to do more of them if you would like don't forget to check out air up i will leave the link and the discount code in the description box below so make sure to take advantage thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys